guys, welcome back to my channel, Making Something Pretty, where today we're going to make this Sherbert Rosette Blanket. Um, you're going to need four skeins of the Bernat Baby Blanket yarn. I chose this kind of Sherbert pink and yellow and green um, kind of confetti variety, and then you're going to need one skein of a solid color for the border. And you're also going to need a pea-size crochet hook. Um, you're going to be using a double crochet and a cluster stitch to make these beautiful rosettes, and this is going to give you a full-size throw. So you could use half the amount of these materials and just make a smaller baby blanket, or you can use the full size like what I did. Go ahead and click below for the pattern to follow along, and let's get started. Okay guys, so you're going to begin by chaining 89. So this is all of my 89 chains right here. So there's the end of my chains. So once you get back up here to the top, you're going to do a cluster stitch in the sixth chain from your hook. So this is my sixth chain. You just have to count down and you're going to do a cluster stitch. So that's just going over a cluster stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Leave those other two loops on your hook and do the same thing again. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two. You now have three hooks on your loop, or loops on your hook. Yarn over, same thing again. You're going to do this five times. So pull through two, you have four loops on your hook. This is the fourth time going in, and we're going to pull through two loops. So we now have five loops on our hook, and the last one pull through two loops. So we now should have six loops on our hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops and that kind of brings it together and that is a cluster stitch if you're not very familiar with that. Um, it basically just creates this little cluster ball looking thing and you're going to chain one and then you're going to skip the next chain stitch and you're going to double crochet in the following chain stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, and yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over and pull through the last two. So basically we're doing cluster stitch, chain one, double crochet, and then another cluster stitch, but you want to skip a chain between each of these to give yourself enough space because those cluster stitches are really large. So if you need to go back and watch how to do that cluster stitch, again, you can definitely watch that as many times as you need to. Basically, you're just pulling through two leap loops each time, and that's how it should be looking from the front and back. And then we're going to skip a chain and do a double crochet, and then skip a chain again and do a cluster stitch, skip a chain, double crochet, on and on and on. If you want to look at the pattern for this um, crochet tutorial, there is a link in my description below that links you to my blog and has the full pattern there for you that will be very helpful if you're getting lost at all. So this is that first row finished cluster, double crochet, cluster, that was our last double crochet on the end, and this is what your first row should be looking like. Kind of puffy and very bulky. So now we're going to chain, and starting this row two, we're going to chain four, and that counts as your first double crochet keeping those lines even on the sides of our blanket. You're going to turn your work and then we're going to double crochet in the top of that first cluster stitch that you see. So just the top center of that cluster stitch, find where that stitch is and double crochet in that stitch. And then we're going to do a cluster stitch in the top of the double crochet that is below from row one. So it's kind of forming like this brick pattern. So you're going to skip a stitch, 
and make sure to do your cluster stitch in the top of that double crochet from before because we don't want to stack these cluster stitches on top of each other in our rows. It'll become even more bulky and um, not lay evenly and nicely because those stitches are so puffy. We don't want to um, make our blanket look all uneven. So kind of lay it in a brick pattern and if you get lost, if you you know get halfway through this blanket and you step away for a while and then you come back to finish it and you don't remember, oh my gosh, was I on row A or row B or you know what am I doing? You can just look at your work and say, oh, this is a double crochet. I need to cluster stitch over that on top of it in the next row. So you can kind of look back at the row you just did and use that to guide you. So fast forwarding here a little bit, just through my second row, you're just going to double crochet and cluster stitch all the way down exactly the same. And this is really kind of the foundation for the rest of our blanket. You're just going to keep repeating these two rows on and on and on until you're done. And you're going to need four full skeins of the big ball Bernat blanket yarn for this one. So here's the second row finished and you can see here I'm coming to the end. We're going to double crochet over that last cluster stitch. And then we're also going to go ahead and double crochet in our first chain from the very beginning to make sure to keep those ends even. So that is going to keep our lines on the sides of our blanket nice and straight and make a perfect square. So always make sure to double crochet and then we're going to chain four, get ready for row three, and turn your work and you just get started and go right back to row A that you did first. So you're going to keep repeating these rows guys for 32 total rows. So 16 of each A and B if you want to look at it that way or 32 total rows. That was almost four entire skeins of yarn for me. Um, and then once you finish that, if you want to put a border on it and just double crochet around the whole edge, I did that. I bought an extra skein of yarn in just that kind of baby pink color, and I just double crocheted all the way around. Sorry, I forgot to film that for you guys. I finished it up, and it totally slipped my mind. But you can see the finished product right here in a second. Okay guys, so that is it. You are all finished with your Sherbert blanket. I hope you guys love this tutorial and will love this blanket as much as I do. Go ahead and click subscribe below and share your pictures if you make this one or any of my other ones to my Facebook page or Instagram or anything like that. And I hope you check out the next one. Thanks. See ya.